I'm a concert manager. I've been in the travel industry for many, many years, but for the last six years I've arranged concerts in Austria, in Germany, Switzerland, in the Czech Republic, in Slovakia, in Hungary, in Poland, and recently in Romania. Every year is a new experience and a new challenge because we have new projects, new festivals, new challenges ahead. That's, that keeps my job exciting and interesting. I'm off now to the Karlskirche, which is one of the major choral venues we use. For our guest groups, it's, it's something special to perform in these sacred buildings. It's especially impressive to come here in the evening time or at night time when it's beautifully illuminated. There's a certain kind of atmosphere in a, in a place where for centuries people went to pray and to look for something higher and something meaningful in their life. And I think you can feel this in these buildings where everything was done to the glory of God and to help people find some peace or some strength or some meaning in life. They're just having their rehearsal. Concert will be tonight at 7.30, so they're getting ready. They have a few more minutes and then they will change clothes so to be ready for a, good, for a good evening concert. They're from a music conservatory in Japan. Traveled a long ways to sing here. As much as I enjoy my job, the best part of the day usually is when I come home, when I'm with my family. <laughs> my wife Julia and my two boys, Samuel and Benjamin. That's usually the best part of the day for me. I think God cares about everybody and I think he cares about everything everybody does because we're his children. Just the way that as I care about everything my boys do, you know, I'm not only interested in the school, I'm interested in what they enjoy doing and interested to hear what they're worried about. I, I'm interested about their life and I think it's the same with our Heavenly Father. I normally take groups here to the Central Cemetery of Vienna. It's a huge area, a huge cemetery, the second largest in Europe. There is the gravesite of Beethoven, the Mozart Memorial, Franz Schubert, some other composers. So for many of our music groups, this is really a very special place to come here. For me, the Central Cemetery has a, has a deeper meaning, a more personal meaning, of course, because also uh, some members of my family are buried here, my grandparents and my brother. The death of my brother was something really tragic for our family. This happened almost 14 years ago when my older brother, Georg, um, passed away without any warning. He was never sick, never ill. He was in good physical conditions and he just suddenly dropped dead. His heart, stopped, his heart just stopped beating. Even though I'm a religious person and I believed in life after death all my life, in a crisis like this I needed some kind of personal conf confirmation from God that, that this concept I, that I always believed in is actually true. And this cannot be something that somebody else can tell you or cannot be something you can read in a sacred book or in some literature, but you have to feel it right in your heart. And I'm so thankful that I, that I received this feeling. Um, it means a lot to me. I'm a concert manager. I love music. I love people. I love the city of Vienna. I'm Helmut Wondra and I'm a Mormon. <laughs>